what uh, can you let me the advantage of using the use memo use, okay so what use memo will do is like uh, so what hap- so what happens uh, there is a re-rendering uh, part yep. so there is a uh, you can say suppose a data is there and it has been updated to the same value so in that case there is no need of re-rendering mm-hmm. so to avoid that we use a uh, use memo okay okay and uh, then what is the need of using the use callback use callback is used to return the memoize function that is the main difference it returns memoize value whereas it returns memoize function okay uh, good mm-hmm. okay. if like uh, what i want i have a few of the components okay uh, that uh, and there is a parent then the child and the sub child the sub child likewise okay okay uh at the last component okay which is my uh, nth sub child component okay okay i want to pass my data to the main parent okay uh, from uh, uh like to the lowest component yes yeah uh, and to, to the most upper one okay from lowest to uppermost you mean yeah uppermost yeah uh like uh, do you want like uh, hierarchical way or like directly uh, you can say if you are knowing both ways you can give answer in as a both or if you are knowing the single way then then uh, that all will be also be fine you can do callback function okay uh, we can do with the help of redux as well okay and context so, context one okay fine yeah. so can you uh, elaborate the redux one so redux what happens is uh, there is a store Mm-hmm. so uh, in that we will we will keep the data so that each and every component will have direct access to avoid that hierarchical uh, like we so what happens uh, like we go in a hierarchical way, one by one component okay so to avoid that we use redux so okay. we can have direct access to it. so uh, okay uh, what, the, what is the need of using the reducer so reducer function it will accept the action type and the initial state of the state so that it and it will respond with the new state after updating the state so that is the function of the re- reducer like that is known as reducer function so so what is the concept of extra reducer that extra extra reducer extra reducers allows us to define more reducers so th- for that purpose we use extra reducers okay fine okay you have you select us S- select us yes yeah can you elaborate a uh, selector it is nothing but a function which accepts the state as an argument and fr- from deriving from that state it will return the data so that is a role of the selector okay and have you perform any middleware thing yes why there is need of uh, middleware as we were quoted that uh, reducer will update the action and all things right yeah uh, why there is a need of middleware so middleware it is a uh, you can say it is an intermediate of uh, action and reducer so it is used to like modify the data or uh, like intercept the data between the, the action and the reducer so main mainly it is used to perform complex logic operations so in plain uh, you can say in simple redux what we can say th- that uh, it is used to perform only synchronous operations so to perform the logic complex logic we can use this middleware okay bye so you have uh, like you know the difference between functional and the class component a uh, class component it it is a uh, use for extending the react component like extending a react dot component whereas functional component they accepts props as an argument uh, whereas the one more difference which i can think of is uh, uh, in 
life cycle methods what we use in life cycle methods is component dead mount component dead update and component will unknown whereas we use the hook use effect for the uh, life cycle methods so yeah these are the two difference which i can think of but uh, the functional components they are very simpler as compared to react uh, class components okay. which react version you are using currently as it was 16.2 okay so is it necessary to update uh, the the packages every time uh if we want newer features then yes if not then we can is, is it the only reason if we want to update the version like okay. uh, no like i'm asking like uh, can you repeat that question like update okay okay so uh, like if you are using currently 16 uh, version okay uh, yeah. currently in market there is a uh, version 18 right yes so how will you know that uh, you need to update to the 18 version because your project is currently working fine for 16 right how will you rectify that part uh like if so we have to be updated like we can't be uh, like we have to be updated like what are the newer features have been included for example like after 16 not exactly 16 but in yeah, the yes, so 16.1 yeah. after that you yeah. can use hooks, hooks. hooks. so yeah. we have to see that like hooks it provides an edge over uh, the class components so most of the developers are moving to functional components so accordingly like the features according to the features how the developers can see like the advantage so this is one of the example like hooks are introduced so the developers can see that it has an edge over class components so they have moved to the new okay okay just a moment have you redux sunk? Have you used redux sunk? Sun saga. saga. Okay, what is basically redux saga? So, uh, the redux to uh, like the redux saga, it, what it will uh, help is it will allow or it will help redux to, to interact with the resources asynchronously. So, what uh, what in short, what we can say is like. Uh, it offers the control over a synchronous action. So, uh, you are, we are known as uh, the dependencies in the package JSON, right? Yes. Okay, there, there are three parts, like there are versions, right? Like for example, 1.1.0. Yeah. Right? What does the FV1 and the zeros mean? You know the part? 1.1.0 for example like there is a react is 16.0.1 uh, right yeah or 16.1.0 yeah got it yeah. okay what is the meaning of 16 then 1 and then 0 so if if you want to keep it in sequence then we will uh, like keep major then minor and then pack okay fine so the, uh, you have you like you have you you have seen like my, my main question was like you have seen like this I am writing in the okay right the first symbol do you know what does that mean um uh, I'm not sure but does it is it may represent virgin but I'm not sure. Okay, fine. Okay. I have used Formic. Formic is a third party library. Yeah, so it what it helps is to like it avoids the repetition of uh, repetition uh, that which we like we can decide how much we want to use. So with the help of Formic library it it helps okay so i'm good with my part okay 